The question is the four kilogram column uh, collar C had a velocity of two meters per second at position A. So this is my position A, and I'm I'm gonna for for my convenience I'm gonna mark this as my datum line. And when it comes to position B, when it comes over here, you have to find the velocity at position B. Now the best practice is for this kind of conservative system. When I say conservative means there is no friction involved, there is no external force involved, there is no um, cord under tension involved. These are all conservative. Conservative system has the gravity and springs. Gravity and springs in them. So we just have gravity and springs, that's good. So in conservative system, conserv conservation of energy principle states that the kinetic energy sum and the potential energy sum equals on every uh, instant, like over here, over here, over here, but now we are considering two positions, two instances, A and B. So the question is, can we, can we plug in all these values into this A location A? So let's find out what is the kinetic energy. T stands for the kinetic energy, half M, V sub A square, half mass is four, sorry, the velocity is two. Two twos are four, eight twos are, um, four twos are eight joules. Now, we have done the math for this one. Let's do the math for the big um, V sub A. Big V sub A, is not only gravity but it is also due to the springs energy stored into the spring so i'm going to write down uh, like v a sub g v a sub e and v a v uh, sorry v g or v sub v sub a g is m g h you will take a look I have defined the datum passing through point A. So when the datum passes through point A, it means the depth is zero. There is no potential energy change. Over here it is zero. But V uh, A sub E, it is half K delta S square. What is the delta S? Now you have to read the statement that the unstretched length is 0.2. So what is the deflection state? When it comes, when imagine the spring comes over here. What is this length when the spring is compacted? 0.1. But the, the net deflection is delta S at position A is final minus. Initial is 0.2. I believe it is 0.2, correct? It is minus 0.1. So let's plug it in over here, half times K, what is K? 400, good, 400 times minus 0.1. And this energy is always positive, even if it is contracted or compressed spring or stretched spring, energy is always positive. So what is that value? If you solve for this, you, you get two joules of uh, store tension energy in, in the spring. So we are good now. The left hand side of this equation, my main focus is to complete this equation. That is my main focus. Let's go for the second uh, part. I'm gonna mark, mark it as equation number one. Left hand side, right hand side T sub B plus V sub B. That is equal to what? The right hand side is equal to the left hand side. Eight plus two is 10 joules, agreed? Now, let's go slowly and find out what are the missing parameters. T sub B is kinetic energy at location B. We know mass. We don't know V sub B. We do. That's our objective. But big V sub B, it, it, it is the combination of two potential energy, big V sub B sub G. 
big V sub B sub E. So big V sub G equals to MGH. And should be negative because when the particle or any object goes below the datum line, then it, it loses potential energy. What is that depth? Now you will tell me. Look at this depth from here. What is your suggestion? What is that depth? Look at the figure closely. 0.4, good. This is an arc. Compass is marked here. This arc is drawn here. It is had, arc has a radius of 0.4. Agreed? So that particle goes 0.4 below the position A. So I'm going to mark here M as 4 and 9.8, negative sign outside, 9.8, uh, and the depth is 0.4. How about the V sub B sub E? Half K delta S square. So I'm going to mark it. Half K is 400. And what is the deflection at position B? You will tell me. Look, when the spring is stretched over here, what is the length? You have to take it as a right angle triangle. This length is 0.4. This length is, now you will tell me, what is this length? Good, it is 0.3. So it is 3, 4, 5 triangle. So when it's 3, 4, so it is 0.5. The whole length of the spring, it is 0.5 at location B. So what is the net deflection? So the net deflection is 0.5 minus 0.2, which is unstretched length. So if you solve for this, you should get, <coughs> so let me write down the complete V sub B and do 2.32 joules. So this is the complete um, math for this. So we are happy now. Let's do the math. Just, just, just 10 to the left-hand side on this equation. Equation number one. Let's fill it in. It's almost complete. Half, half, m is 4 kilogram. And uh, v sub b, we don't know. But we are about to find it out now. Plus 2.32. So can you solve for this? You should be able to get this uh, answer. Muse per second. 